carry in it. 8,000 wells, 9,000 gallons a minute of yeah. water. Yeah. Just think how many people can use that water, fresh water, instead of it being contaminated. And there's just no way to know how fast it moves and how slow it moves because it all depends on <laughs> snow melt, rainfall, earthquakes, earth shakes. It's definitely in drought, our water. You know. Being contaminated right as we speak. See, it looks like a graveyard. To me, that's what this is. It, it's like grave markers. That's what I think of when I see yeah. this, you know. It's a graveyard. Graveyard for the water. See every single well there. Looks like a graveyard, and a the this whole thing mine. is the uranium mine. Each one of those is a well dug to bring uranium up. We're probably getting radioactive right now as we speak. All you see is these little boxes, and you think it's harmless, and or you're not suspicious. You know, it doesn't raise an alarm to see all these little boxes, but you don't know what's going on. But damage is happening is underneath in the aquifer. Runs, the creek runs through the mine. It does. That is crazy. Exactly through the mine. That fence and that stop sign never used to be there. That's new. What do you think when you see all this? What do I think? I, I think that our water is being contaminated every day. Our food. As I look around here, it makes me feel sad that this mine is contaminated in my children's and their children's water. I feel sad when I come here. This is my first time being right here at the mine. and It reminds me of a big graveyard, a place of death, a place of sadness. So I really don't like being here at this mine. I just feels don't feel right even standing here. I just feel something inside don't feel right. So that's what I think of death and destruction when I see this place. Think of a big graveyard. I hope that the uh, ALB judges understand what the uh, interveners are trying to say to them. And I hope ultimately that they shut down Crow Butte and Kamiko and protect the sacred water for our coming generations, of, for all people, not just natives, but for all people. So I'm hoping the ALB judges see it our way and shut down Kamiko. What would you say to the people who aren't coming here today, who aren't taking the time to understand this important fight? I would say wake up. My relatives, my people, wake up and look what's going around. This affects all of us, our everyday lives. Every time you take a drink of water, this affects your life right here. Wake up and start trying to do what you can to support and protect the sacred water.